guys welcome back to our youtube channel if you are new on this channel please ensure to click on the subscribe button down below with a bell shape so as to get notifications once a video has been dropped and as usual i bring to you trending gist about issues ravaging the country nigeria and today is not a surprising one i read with a caption senate sacks ndume as chief whip for criticizing tinubu reshuffles committee the Senate on Wednesday sacked its chief whip, Ali Indume, for criticizing President Bola Tinubu's administration. So this is yeah, addressed to His Excellency the Senate President, Dr. Goswil Oborok Pabio, President of the Senate, complained against the unbecoming utterances the upper chamber replaced Mr. Ndume, a member of All Progressive Council, Ahmed, Congress, Ndume. APC, representing the Bono South Senatorial District with Sanhe Monugu, Bono State. The Senate President, Godswill Apabio, announced the decision after many of the senators supported it during the plenary. The decision followed a letter from Abdullahi Ganduje, the national chairman of the APC, and Bashir Ajubola, the party secretary, which the Senate president read during the preliminary. In the letter, the APC national leaders recommended that the Senate relieve Mr. Ndume of his position because of his unguarded utterances that are against the federal government. The APC leaders described Mr. Ndume as someone who is bent on dividing the country and as someone who is not putting the country in a better position in the international community. The party subsequently recommended that Mr. Ndume's position in the Senate should be taken over by Mr. Monugono. After reading the letter, the Senate president put it to vote and the senators voted overwhelmingly in support of it. Mr. Apabio approved the recommendation and directed the sergeants at arms to walk Mr. Mugono to seats of the Senate whip at the front row. Last week, Mr. Ndume told journalists that President Tinubu has been caged in the presidential villa and that some forces are preventing well meaningful people from physically discussing the truth with him. He claimed that the situation did not allow the president to know that many Nigerians are hungry. Ndume's previous ordeal. This is the second time Mr. Ndume will be stripped of his position in the Senate since he was elected into the upper chamber in 2011. He was first elected into the upper chamber on the platform of the People Democratic Party, PDP, but defected to the APC in 2013. The Bukola Sakaraki led Senate's appointment, Mr. Ndume, as a Senate leader, but was subsequently removed in 2017 as a result of the recommendation of the then of APC Kakos in the Senate. Now, the changes in standing committee leadership, Mr. Apabio announced that Mr. Ndume will now chair the Senate Committee on Tourism. He is to be assisted by Anthony Ane, APC's Eboy, who was named the deputy chairman of the, of the committee. The Senate president also said that apart from his new role, Mr. Mugono will be the new deputy chairman of the Senate committee on appropriation in line with the practice of the upper house of the National Assembly. He said the Committee of Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters chaired by Mr. Mugono will now be headed by Adeni Adebomire, APC Ondo Cetra. Mr. Adebomire is a senior advocate of Nigeria. With the evaluation of distinguished Senator Tahir Mugono to the position of the majority whip of the Senate, his Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters will not go to the only senior advocate of Nigeria that we have in the 10th Senate, distinguished Senator Deniyu Ade Bonire, who is a son. So the chairman of the Senate Committee on Tourism becomes the distinguished Senator Mohammed Ali Ndume. The deputy chairman Senate Committee on Appropriation in Line with the earlier practice lies with the distinguished Senator Mohammed Tanher Mugono. In addition to the chief whip of the state, Mr. Apabio said, Ned Woko, which is the APC Delta North, will be the chairman of the newly created Senate Committee on the Reparation and the Repatriation, why Musa Mustafa, APC's Yobe East, 
will be chairman of the committee on livestock development, a new ministry just created by the federal government. Simon Lalong, who is APC Plato North, will be chairman of the Senate Committee on Agricultural Institutions. Abdul Ningi, which is PDP Bawuchi Central, was reinstated as chairman of the Committee on Population. So guys, I just gave you guys a brief rundown of what is happening at the moment in the country as of July 17th, 2024. Mr. Ndume, who used to be the chief whip of the Senate, was removed from his position on the basis that he spoke. Mr. Ndume was removed from his position because of the charges that he said unguarded utterances that are against the federal government. Now, guys, it's, is it just me? But I feel there is room for criticism. Every and every person have every right to criticize the government. It's among our human rights to stand and to say you're not in support of what is happening in the country. I think it's so un, unruly. I feel it's partial. And I think it's bad that Mr. Undume was removed from his seat all because he said his mind. I mean, when has it been a crime for someone to say their mind? I know there is freedom of speech and there is no freedom after the speech. But then again, there was nothing wrong that he said because I think every single time he happens to enter into the Senate office, starting from 2011, he was always removed. So guys, I don't know why this thing is always happening to Ndume every time he gets into the Senate. But then again, we are in a country where our rights are being infringed and we look at it and then nothing is happening. In the meantime, thank you. And do not forget to click on the subscribe button. Ensure to click on it. And don't forget to like, comment, and share.